everybody. Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. Hey guys. We are super excited to be with one of our oldest friends on the show, it's Debbie Wright. It's been Ryan. so long. Oh, it oh, has oh. been so long. Well, We've you're joining us grow. now in this cabana yeah. here. We're in a poolside cabana, which during the winter functions as a skating rink side cabana. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And we are going to be ice skating later, you guys. That is right. So we're at the <laughs> W Los Angeles Westwood to chat about the holidays. Are you feeling festive yet? I am feeling festive. We um, decorated all of our dressing room doors on the Jesse set. We pretty much the second we clear Thanksgiving, the tree goes up in my house, wreaths everywhere, a million candles. It's like cinnamon spice and pumpkins and like everything that you can smell ever. So it's pretty delicious. I'm, I mean, I'm in the I'm in the spirit. Now we're going to like delve into favorite holiday traditions, but yes. I feel like a lot of people have favorite ornaments that they put on their trees at home. Do you have any favorite ornaments? Oh, I, th the last couple years I've kind of sat and watched as my mom unpacked the ornaments, so I'm not very familiar with them because- They're very delicate. Well, I see. Yes, they're delicate, <laughs> and also she kind of just gets weepy. It's and I'm not good when women cry. I, <laughs> I can't handle like crying women. I'm kind of a bro that way. I'm like, oh. Gotta go, bye. I'll be making cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> like, this is weird. So I kind of let her do them myself. But I just saw one that my brother made when, like, he must have been in second grade. And it's like a photo of him, and there's like glitter glued around the outside it's like glued to an index card, you know? It's like, Amazing! Yeah, but he was like not having it that day, so it actually looks like a seven-year-old mugshot. So it's pretty great, pretty festive. So what would you say are some of your standout holiday traditions? The Ryan family does every yeah. year. Watching my mom weep while she puts up the tree is a good That's one. That's a good um, one. That's sweet. <laughs> she's literally sitting over there feeling so on blast. Um, Love you, mom. There's, but there's no Christmas without my mom's like emotion parade. <laughs> like it's really, it's such a thing. And I will say, that are we every taking year, a tally here? Just three, I think three. we're at three. Um, every time I go to Disneyland or Disney World, because she's a crazy Disney freak, and we always get like I get her a Disney ornament. So sometimes, oh, and they're all like the same kind of shim similar shape. So we're getting a little bit of a connection. Collection. And they kind of match these ones that we got at this German Christmas parade. So Ooh. those are all really fun. We have some great, great ornaments from Germany and from all growing up. But um, my favorite tradition, I love, you know, baking. It's kind of the only time I get really domestic. It's right around the holidays. Yeah. So what I've been, I've been, I've been really into the sugar cookies. But if you put almond in the sugar cookies, it kind of can give it a like warm flavor. Ugh. And I've been doing um, Mexican hot chocolate. I make hot chocolate and put cinnamon in it. Ooh. It's really, really, really dope. That sounds delightful. Get in on that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And there's these massive marshmallows now that are like really American sized. You just need one. <laughs> American sized. You know what I mean? They're like I way know. bigger <laughs> than these. You can't super like. Super size. Yeah. Can't, exactly. Like, reach this. It's like all marshmallow and you have to bite at it. It's like bobbing for apples. So, we need really to find classy. ourselves some of those. Yeah, so I can shut <laughs> like my face pronto. in that and be really classy. And you're busy working, so like what are your holiday plans for this year? Do you get some time off or some R&R? &R? Yeah, I think that I get I get three weeks off from the show, which I think awesome. averages out to four days of personal time after everything else exactly. that I need to do. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I'm actually taking my family on vacation. We're going to Puerto Vallarta. Ooh. Yeah, I'm are you gonna excited. come back with a tan? Fingers crossed. Bilingual? Sun safety, y'all. But I don't know. I, I might do that. But um, I'm excited to just make some music with my brother. Um, it's kind of you know I always come in at the end of the studio session and finish up lyrics, or I'll send him lyrics, or I'll kind of record it a second at a time, or do an arrangement for a YouTube cover. But original music is so hard to. It takes so much time, and I'm very particular about it. So it'll be really good to do that. And. Um, I have a couple other exciting projects with my production company that I'm talking about. I have other things that are coming up, so it's going to be a We're good so holiday excited. season, but there won't be a lot of rest. <laughs> and what was your favorite part about the Austin and Allie Jesse crossover? Because yeah. that's very holiday-esque as mm -hmm. well. It's um, it's all very like Christmas, New Year's kind of themed. Um, I was going to say, so. and of course, we're talking about music, and yes. maybe you were thinking of the same, same thing. thing. Same brain, basically. But holidays, there are so many awesome holiday songs yeah. out there. Do you have any favorites? Um, Little Drummer Boy is like a classic in my house. Um, Spencer, Boldman, and I were talking about, we actually were singing Baby It's Cold Outside. We were like driving and it like came on and we just kind of were singing it. And um, he's an amazing singer, which most really? people don't know. He's so an amazing many talents. Singer. Amazing. But, you know, he doesn't want to be like that Disney singing guy. Um, and he just sings because he loves it. So he and I will just jam or whatever. We we're talking about uploading Baby It's Cold Outside. We're we would love about that. it. Please do. Please. <laughs> yes. We'll consider it. And I'll then shoot a music video, please. We'll shoot a music video. If we, if we covered it, we would put it on the YouTube. If you need snowmen, we're totally okay to stand. All right. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Does that mean I can throw powder sugar on you? 
Definitely. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can do that anyway. <laughs> just recreationally. Just on the weekend. Let's make it happen. <laughs> so what would you say is your Christmas wish this year? Is there anything that's really high on your list? Yeah. Um, <laughs> as I don't even let you get it out. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really want to expand India. I, I really want to create an entire kind of village and hub there. I really want to do... Um, a school, but also a hospital, like a rehabilitation center, an orphanage, really kind of help people rebuild their lives and, and build up not only alternative income sources, but kind of just education and trade, mm -hmm. and um, as well as the water pumps and the things right. that they need to survive. So I'd love to just build a village from the ground up and have the Ryan Village, which, you know, I kind of have been taking steps in, and I'm very excited to share some awesome things and some awesome parts with you. But that's, the I mean, really the only thing I can think of for Christmas. and. A little family time, and I mean, we've been house hunting for five years, so a place to live would be super kosher. I'd like that. Oh my goodness! What <laughs> I can tell you anything about real estate. It's like a stupid hobby I picked up. Build a teepee, Debbie. I will build a massive tree house, <laughs> for the whole and Ryan I will live in it. And you can come, and we will do drum circles. Um, <laughs> true story. I am cool. actually part Native American. I am part Blackfoot really? and Cherokee. Oh, yes. awesome! Um, and one time, I did a rain dance in the Hollywood Center Studios parking lot, and it rained. It worked. Well, it was already raining. But it continued to Minor rain. Detail. It continued. It continued to rain. Oh, that's my meaningful. Gosh. Yeah, and by rain dance I mean like <laughs> make it rain. <laughs> like like I go to the club. Open to interpretation. Yeah, making Always. it rain. <laughs> making it rain. People. Well, happy holidays. Happy holidays, back, nice. ladies. And I love that you are giving all year round. The holidays really inspires us all to give, but you're doing it all the time. And Thank you. Important. That's very special, Debbie, so keep doing it. Thank you. I think it's a really important thing. I think that's what's cool about, and even Thanksgiving, and kind of leading up to it, you just remember to take things, not take things for granted, and really yeah. kind of look things in the eyes and be like, this is a gift, this is a blessing. Yeah. And my friend the other day, um, she has a tattoo that says, love is a... Battlefield? <laughs> Battlefield. No, love is a um, uh, privilege. Like, not, you know, it's not a gift. Not like, a love right, is a, it's yeah. a privilege. Yeah. And so, and it made me realize, like, it's true. Like, we're not owed anything. I'm not owed an amazing career just because I've done years and years of work on it doesn't mean it's going to be successful. So I'm still very blessed to, and when you work so hard or when you, you love people or you give so much to people, it can feel like you deserve certain things. And I just feel like the holiday season reminds you that we're all just given everything that we have. So. Amen to that. That's a perfect way to wrap this How? up. Debbie, thanks for joining us here for some fun, getting in the holiday spirit. Let's go skating. Let's yes. do it. And you guys, we're going to be going skating soon, so stick with us. You will not want to miss it. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward and Debbie Ryan. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.